Okay, we're in Paprika here, and we're going to set up a week and add some food to the calendar so we can plan out how much food we need for that week. When you start out here, it might be on calendars, it might be on recipes, or whatever. Um, and you know you're logged in because you can see all the recipes on there. If it's blank, you need to log in and sync the database first to make sure you've got all the food you need to. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to meals, and you might be on day, week, or month. For me, it's easiest to work on the month so you can see what's going on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my menu on the other screen, or you can have it printed out so you can reference it, but I'm going to drag all the food onto the calendar for the week of the 27th here. And our first meal is Salisbury steak, so you can go up here and click and start typing and I can see Salisbury steak and I'm just going to drag it over there. Or if you want to just scroll down through the list, the scroll bar is really tiny when you first get started so you can drag it up and down like that until you're looking for your vegetables. But a lot of times it's easiest to just click and type something in. We're going to have mashed potatoes with that and we're going to eat the pearls. And then we're going to have peas and carrots. And we're going to have peaches. And we also have soup planned, but we don't have uh, ingredients for soup. So you just need to buy those separately. Remember to add those as part of your regular weekly purchasing, whether it's beans or broth or whatever. Um, okay, the next one is breakfast bake for Tuesday. And that comes with a biscuit, and I think the biscuit's already in the recipe. Hot apples and pineapples. Wednesday is chicken tenders. And roasted potatoes come in a bag. And green beans, and we'll say they're the frozen green beans for now. Applesauce that comes in a can, and soup. On Thursday, we're having meatballs with tomato sauce, and penny pasta, which comes separately. and peas and pears and Friday is barbecue chicken breast click and drag and there's scallop potatoes and there's lima beans And then on Friday, we don't have a specific dessert because it comes from Publix, so you don't have to do that. We also have sugar-free desserts, and I don't usually put that on there. We just have to make a mental note of that. And Friday is soup, too. So that's all that goes here. On Saturday, we're having unstuffed cabbage rolls. And we're having beets. And cauliflower. bananas because it's Saturday and there must be bananas some kind of in between there it goes okay there it is now we've got everything dragged here let's make sure we've got the right quantities for what we have we're gonna assume that we're having about a hundred and ten on Monday Wednesday Friday and about a hundred on Tuesday and Thursday and less than a hundred on Saturday let's so what you do is you double click on each one of these ingredients and it'll pop up the recipe and it also tell you how many you're expecting 120 so 120 Salisbury steak patties and then gravy so that's good I'll leave it like that
mashed potatoes. This says it's the last time we had it on a day where we had 100. I'm going to adjust it to make it 120. Let's see what that is. So our recipe has that, so I'm going to multiply it by a factor. Hit save. That's going to go to 120. If you didn't do the math right, just keep guessing until you get it. Sometimes you have to go start at 1 and then figure out what you need to do. And it'll multiply out each ingredient. Peas and carrots. And this says we're buying the mix of peas and carrots. If you're buying diced peas and diced carrots separate, then change your um, shopping list to do half of peas and half carrots. But this one says 120, and I'm going to leave it there. Peaches. This says 110, so it's four and a little bit more cans since it comes in a case of six. We're in good shape. Okay. Tuesday we're working for maybe 100 people. This We've got scaled for 96, and we did say it does have biscuits in here, so we don't have to have that separate. And it's a good time to spot check, and if you say, ah, oh, you know, last time we did the recipe... We didn't really use that much. Then go in here and hit edit and change it before you add it to the shopping list. The best time to do that is the day after you cook it and say, well, we only use this much. Um, but if you forgot to change it, now's a good time to double check and say, yep, do a little sanity check on that and say, really, it only takes six pounds of ham, even though it's for 96 or something like that. Hot apples for 100. There we go. Back. Double click. Pineapples for 90. Let's make it for 100. And I'm going to save it. There's 100. Four cans. Most of the recipes for canned fruit is four cans for 100 people. Chicken tenders for 120. Okay. It's three chicken tenders a piece. If it's only two, then you don't need that many. Roasted potatoes, if I put one, then it's 100, so I'm going to do 1.2 to make it 120. Green beans for 120, same thing. Applesauce, that says 110, could be 110, could be 120. Just make sure you've got enough. Meatballs with tomato sauce for 100. There you go. About 20 pounds, two boxes. Penny pasta, about 8 pounds for 100. That's what Julie says, usually 7 or 8. Peas for 100. Pears for 100. Four cans. Friday, chickens. So if you have planning on 120, you need 120 chicken, boneless, skinless fillets, and some barbecue sauce. Scallop potatoes. They got 120 here, so we're good. Lima beans. We did 110 last time. Let's go ahead and make it 120. We're not sure, but throw it in the soup. Unstuffed cabbage rolls for 100. Let's knock that down. A hair since we're doing it on Saturday. Let's do it. Plan on 90. We might have a little bit left over. Beets for 90. Cauliflower for 90. We got 90. Bananas serves about 90 case. So that's it. There you go. You've got your week filled out. And the thing about the calendar is this monthly view, you can do it right at the beginning of the month, and then every week you come in there, you just check your quantities in case your numbers of people are increasing or decreasing for that week, and just double check. You, you can always go back to the weekly view, too. This is the week of the 27th. Fast forward here. Salisbury steak, you can scroll through and look at it that way. In the next video,
we're going to take this list and then add it to the grocery cart. So that's it for here. Thanks.